Sitting here with Coach Mark White, a uh, hard-fought game. At one point, you're up 17-2, but at the very end of the game, uh, it could have went either way. You want to talk about what happened? Well, um, it was a, a, a hard-fought game, like you said. Uh, I expected that. Um, we got a lot of respect for Mount Clemens. I think they have the best player in the league, uh, and Javon. Um, there's a lot of emotion involved um, with a young team um, for a game like this. Um, we knew um, you, you guys would be here. Um, we were expecting a big crowd. Um, we started off executing our game plan, and we did a really good job of it. Um, defensively, we tried to take Javon out of the game early, um, apply some pressure, and we were, we were getting, reaping the benefits of that. I think once we got up, um, we let down a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, a young team um, didn't really expect Mount Clemens to fight back like they did. Mm -hmm. As we get older and more experienced, we'll understand that uh, you know, basketball is a game of runs. Mm -hmm. And when you make a run, you should expect that um, they're going to fight back and embrace that. Mm -hmm. We didn't do that. Um, my guard play, I uh, got to do a better job of getting them to uh, understand the defensive strategies of the other team. Mm -hmm. um, they kind of took us out of what we need, what planned to do. Mm -hmm. um, they made us play a little uh, out of character. You know, we usually play organized. We ha always play with a purpose and direction. Um, but the pressure that they applied, the way they double teamed uh, Orlando, it kind of took us out of it, and we got a little stagnant. Mm -hmm. um, we had to count on uh, some of our younger players and non-scorers to make plays, and we weren't able to do that. Uh, I'm really happy that our defense kept us in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, we went into the halftime with the lead. Mm -hmm. But I knew it was going to be a fight to the end. I expected that. Mm -hmm. um, the unexpected probably would have been the way we started the game. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, Mount Clemens is a, a proud team, proud community player in our league. And so I knew he wouldn't back down. Right. Um, fortunately, our defense, you know, that's what we lay our hats on. That's the foundation of our program. Um, fortunately, our defense um, carried, carried us to victory. Mm -hmm. We kept them under 50 points. Mm -hmm. um, we held Javon to 21 points. I don't know what his average is, but you know he's capable of really putting numbers Absolutely. up. Uh, and he had to work hard. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to stop at the end. Uh, so there's a lot of lessons for, for us in this game um, throughout the whole game. Mm -hmm. You know, being up, controlling the tempo, uh, handling the pressure, mm -hmm. um, the emotional stability, mm -hmm. um, making the plays offensively and defensively. Right making adjustments to adjustments. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is early in the season still. Mm -hmm. Again, we're a young team, as you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very, very happy with the experience because with that experience, we'll grow. Yeah. What's next for you guys? Uh, tomorrow um, off, uh, we'll be back in, start practice on um, practice on Sunday, try to learn from the um, this week, learn mm -hmm. from the game, uh, and start preparing for a game on Tuesday. We've got Bradford Academy here at home. Um, um, we haven't talked a lot about them. Our focus is one game at a time. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll go home tonight and start preparing our plan for practice. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll put it together for Sunday and Monday to prepare and go out on, on Tuesday and try to give our best. Okay. Well, great job. Great. Thanks for having us. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Oh, thanks again for being here, man. We're so happy and proud, honored um, to have you in the house. And um, you're welcome back anytime. All right. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, man.